Marshall is in Boise, Idaho. Marshall, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, thanks for taking my call. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How can I help today? Good. I'm not quite as young as your last caller. I'm 44. Okay. Hey, that's still young, man. Give yourself some credit. Well, okay, thanks. (laughs) I'll, I'll try to remember that. Uh, Just moved here from Virginia, and I kept my house in Virginia that I'm renting out, and then I'm renting an apartment in Boise, in the Boise area, and I'm trying to decide whether it's smart to hold on to my house in Virginia or not. I'm single, uh, one small dog. You got a single, you're single and a dog, and you're renting right now. Are you wanting to own a home in the Boise area? Are you there long term? Don't know yet. But you're working in Boise currently. I am. And in, it's not remote. Area. You're going in, you're going into the office and all that. You've got some roots there. I um I'm going in to teach children math and um uh, I don't know how long I'll be here, but at least for the next year. Okay. Well, you know, I don't I don't love the idea of being a long distance landlord. Uh, I'm sure you have you've got to have something set up to where, you know, if the HVAC goes out, you've got someone to call, right? Yes, I have a company who takes about 80 bucks a month to kind of manage things. Okay. Yeah, long term, I want to see you with your with a primary residence paid off and then getting into real estate investing. So if I'm in your shoes, personally, what I would do is sell that house, take that money, and if you think you're going to plant roots in Boise at least for a few years, you can go ahead and find something in the Boise area and work aggressively to pay that off. Do you have any other? Do you have any debt currently? I've got about eight grand in student loan debt, and I've got about twenty five in the bank for my emergency fund. Oh, okay. You have 25 in cash in the bank. I thought you meant you had debt. I was like, you have debt in the bank? How does that work? Okay. <laughs> no, no, so no. we've got the eight oh, grand no. in student loans. And then do you owe anything on that property? I owe 110 and I could sell it tomorrow for probably 220. Oh, well, that's a nice chunk of change. So you'll, you'll have about a hundred grand if you sell it yep. in cash. Well, I yep. want to see these student student loans paid off. I mean, it's it's not a ton here. You could get rid of it without having to sell the home. So it's not a there's no urgency there. But if I'm you, I'm right. selling that house, uh, taking a, a portion of that money, getting rid of these student loans. You've already got that emergency fund. I would even take down that emergency fund and get rid of these student loans today, regardless of the home sale. Okay. What's making that you have makes me uh, nervous? St- but <laughs> what's what makes you nervous about? I just, it? I just like having that that money in the bank in case of an emergency. Do you do you like paying your student loan payment? Uh, I do not. <laughs> well, I guess you got to decide what you like had, more. Well, I haven't had to pay it in a, in a while, but yeah, I mean, it's the next thing to go. I just wanted to maybe get up to maybe around thirty grand in the bank before I pay yeah. that off. Well, you'll you'll still be in a great financial spot, even paying off this loan. You'll still have what seventeen uh, grand or so, sixteen yep. grand. So you're still going to be in a great spot uh, for an emergency fund sake. I'm sure that's still a f- at least a few months worth of expenses. But without that payment, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of income back in your life to put towards your next goal, which I assume would be, uh, are you investing currently? Um, I contribute to a 401k at work and, and have been uh, contributing to a 403b at my last job for about 18 years. Okay, nice. So I mean you're doing you're doing some good things. There's a slight it's slightly out of order from what we teach, uh, where I want you to pay off yeah. that debt first. You have the cash on hand. You can do that today, and then you can continue okay. investing uh, once you build that emergency fund back up to where you want it, three to six month range. I assume since you're uh, but, you're single, you want it closer to six months. Yes. Okay. Yep. What were you saying? So you think you think get rid of that that house. I would personally, because you don't have a primary residence that's paid off. If you had a primary residence that's paid off and this thing was still lingering uh, and it didn't bother you that much, but it's still a long-distance situation and you don't have a house that you're living in. And so I want to see you debt-free completely, house and everything, before you get into uh, real estate investing. So there's there's nothing on fire here, but if I'm in your shoes... You're going to put yourself in a really sweet financial position when you have six figures in cash, and now you have some options when you want to, you know, go go right. put twenty percent down on a place in Boise or wherever you end up planting your roots. Okay, well that helps, and I appreciate your time. Absolutely, Marshall. Thanks so much for the call.